For those of you who think a bobcat can't or won't take down a deer, this series of photos is going to prove otherwise. This set of photos was taken in October 2016 by my brother's trail camera in Colorado. Here we see a group of deer feeding, and sadly the small deer is about to meet a violent end. The next photo shows the bobcat on the deer's back. The bobcat purposely targeted the younger, smaller deer. We assume the cat waited until the deer's head was down and it rushed in directly from behind where the deer couldn't see it. By the time the deer realized it was in trouble, the cat was on it. Note how there's absolutely no vegetation in this food plot where the cat could hide. It had to cover some ground to reach the deer, and it must have waited for the perfect opportunity, then shot like a missile towards its prey. In the next photo, the cat is still on the deer. The other deer aren't running away. They seem to want to protect the one being attacked, but without sharp teeth or claws, there isn't much they can do. Here you can see the bobcat clearly. It appears to have partially lost control of the deer, but its sharp claws still have a grip on the deer's front leg. Several seconds passed before the next photo was taken. Unfortunately, the deer has lost the battle. Look closely and you can see the bobcat's ears and it has the deer's throat in its powerful jaws. This death bite crushes the windpipe and also likely compresses both carotid arteries, effectively cutting off blood flow to the brain. Within seconds, the deer loses consciousness, and it's dead within minutes. Around this time, my brother saw the deer lying in the food plot with the other standing around looking at it. He was several hundred yards away, so he grabbed his binoculars and could see something was on the deer, but he couldn't quite tell what it was from the distance. By the time he got close to it, he saw it was a bobcat. It let go of the deer and ran off, but unfortunately, he was too late to save the deer.